So uh, today I've come down to Nant Pedis again. Um, I was thinking of trying to get up to the waterfalls and trying to explore it further up, but um, no, I couldn't get any parking again. So uh, I'm not going to go on about that. So um, I've plunked my car in the only available space a bit down the road and I'm heading up this big hill because uh, right behind me on the uh, right, my right, is a some beautiful long waterfalls I've never been there before um, I can hear the river on the side whether I can get up there I don't know but I'm gonna take my time and push myself up as much as I can um, but yeah I'm hoping I'll get pretty close to that and fly the drone or get some sort of shots anyway so hopefully uh, I'll come out with something decent here today so yeah so um, yeah, I've been vlogging now on YouTube now for the last three years. So uh, I just put up a video um, a few days ago uh, with my 100 favourite images from the past three years. So uh, yeah, if you want to check out that video, just check it out here. And yeah, so uh, this week uh, I did a one-to-one -one in Hanwin and the Church in the Sea on Anglesey. Uh, I couldn't vlog it because uh, I'm not really into doing vlogs when I'm doing one-to-ones. But I got some good images and uh, a bit of video. So uh, while I push my ass up this hill, I'm sure you don't want to see the B-roll. I'll leave you with a three-minute three minute video of uh, yeah, on my one-to-one -one on Anglesey this week. This walk is really hard. Uh, it's just all uphill. I'm sweating my ass off, but I'm determined just to get up there. Um, 
them waterfalls are looking a lot closer now so uh, yeah I'll just catch my breath here eat my banana then move on uh, on my way up I can see a lot of beautiful falls right down at the bottom of the gully but unfortunately it's just fenced off uh, which is sad really because uh, I could see there's some uh, nice falls down there but I don't know I have no idea what I'm gonna come across up here I haven't got a clue um, but I should be able to get a nice drone footage of that waterfall and I hope I can get access pretty close to it uh, but never mind this is a good exercise so as I was driving to my original location for the other waterfalls uh, I keep looking up here all the time when I pass by and see them falls at the top there and think there has to be a shot up there and I said to myself like one day I'm gonna get up there but little did I know here I am on my way up there and uh, as much as it's killing me I'm bloody gonna get there um, I think it's what's making it worse is the sun's out today and it's really hot uh, and that's sort of draining my energy but um, yeah finished my banana had a drink uh, just catch my breath and uh, move on but this place is just beautiful uh, good opportunities here for a wild camp definitely Well, I was just sitting on the wall here having a drink. Uh, I noticed this wall here uh, that caught my eye and uh, what's happening within the uh, left of the frame. You've got these lone trees and these really beautiful rocks that really look good. Um, you've got some great light that's going up on the top there now. Uh, had some light shining on Creep Gorch, which was looking nice. I just like the composition here with this wall uh, that comes to an end here and what's going on in the background there I think could make a lovely composition um, so with this I put a 0.9 soft grad uh, to really bring the uh, sky down in the background there so I'm trying different ones you've got some nice light coming through over there so yeah I'm at f16 ISO 100 uh, with the uh, 0.3 soft grad so yeah I think this will make a nice uh, wide image water is running down here um, which I can't cross so far because there's big gullies the falls I was looking for are over there um, now I'm gonna have to do a bit of scrambling up now to see what's going on here uh, so just in case I can't get to the falls from here um, I'm gonna fly the drone towards them over there uh, which is useful because when I get back home and look over the drone footage I, got, I get to see a bit of the landscape and perhaps maybe a way of getting there uh, so if I can't get there today I'll get the drone up there and get an image with a drone and then what I'm going to do is a bit of scrambling up here to see if there's any nice shots with the water uh, coming down on the hillside over here So yeah, I've come quite 
close to the waterfall so I can't really get in there because of this fencing that's going along the side which, which is restricting me to get that close to it. Um, I think the best would have been going on the other side uh, but I don't know any pathways that get, get there. I mean it is possible if I found some part of the river to cross there but for now I'm quite happy with what I got here and I think I'll get a composition here. Um, before this I put the 16 to 35 mil lens on. I uh, didn't bring my 24 to 70, uh, it's broken. Uh, every time I put it on there's a noise, uh, I'm not sure what it is. So yeah that's just making a noise all the time. It's like one of the motors or something's gone on it or something, I don't know, it's just strange. So on the 16 to 35 mil um, I've got a really wide composition. Uh, you've got this tree that's on a slant. But that tree on the right of the frame really sort of pushes your eye towards the falls over there. And just on the foreground here you've got this dead tree. Um, the point, the only thing with the 16 to 35, it just tends to push the waterfalls just further back. So yeah, I've gone for a wide 16mm to include this dead tree there. I've gone for another shot, probably at 35mm, uh, just to uh, include this tree here in the falls. And also I bought my nifty 50 so uh, that's allowed me to get a bit closer and bring the falls a bit closer in uh, on that image. So you've got the um, tree slanting down which is pointing you right to the falls. So uh, I've got three compositions, one at 16, 35 and 50mm uh, with a nifty 50. So hopefully uh, them images will be fine. So I think that's it for this vlog. Uh, I'm quite happy I got up here. Didn't quite get to the falls and uh, I just left one of the uh, drone batteries at home so I only had one dead drone battery on me. Uh, always something. I could have sworn I put that batch, two batteries in the bag but I just can't find it. Uh, just a shame I could have gone right in there. But never mind I've got up here. Uh, hopefully I've got some nice shots. Well worth it. Uh, good exercise too. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this vlog, uh, please do subscribe, like, leave a comment and hit the bell if you want to hear, be notified of any uh, more vlogs. So uh, until next week, thanks for watching and bye.